We'll see Barajas, who is in the house. Hey, Brad. What, what happened there? I was trying to spotlight this all. One. And so, um, Jose is a family man. He is, he's been married over 30 years, and that is an accomplishment right there, brother. Congratulations. Praise and the Lord. My understanding <laughs> is that you are a grandfather. You have seven grandkids. Seven grandkids. The brother. oldest is uh, 20, <clears throat> 22. <laughs> I'm trying to cover that up. <laughs> How old does that make you? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Well, brother, he started young. He started young. Wide, wide range. We started young. Yeah, and but you've been leading worship for decades at um, different places. Main main place Christian Fellowship, Living Hope Church, Every Chapel Lakewood, and, and and the list goes on. And um, are you, you know, last I checked, we're writing devotional. Are you still doing that? I'm writing a daily yes. devotional. I I'm still doing that. Yes. At some point in time, maybe in between songs, we'll ask you a little bit more about that. But I do know that you love. Romans 5, 8, you love Psalms 100, some of your favorite yes. verses. But brother, what do you have for us tonight? I just have a bunch of songs, like uh, the last time I played, um, just plagiarizing God's Word. Um, this song was actually written after the last time I was on Red's Room. Uh, just the conversation that uh, the host, me and Jess, were having kind of between songs. Um, so she kind of kept mentioning the gravity, so I just took... A lot of the words that we kind of went back and forth throughout the evening and wrote this song so it's uh called gravity it's come to jesus so Lord. oh are you tired of being tired
that was paid And we will never know the gravity Of his snails and their ways And we will never know the pain That Jesus did for about how a lot of people are stressed brother and they needlessly carry burdens instead of casting them on jesus shoulders like he asked us to do you know to cast our cares upon him and he wants to give us rest but we want to take these things upon ourselves what would you say to a person that that is always carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders i i think that the the message is clear of the bible and his grace and his mercy and you know one of the uh, verses that you mentioned that I in love is Romans 5 8 it says while while we were yet sinners Christ you know still died for us he demonstrated his love for us by dying for us we weren't worthy and he did it because of his love for us and so this world is crazy getting crazier has been crazy and it's all about coming to Jesus because People think like, oh, we're going to come and it's everything's going to be peaceful. And, but it's he talks about giving rest and peace to your soul, which is deeper than just our outward life, our, our, our feelings. It's not about our feelings. It's about just giving everything to him and he'll give us that calm, that peace in our souls. No matter how everything is going around, he's he's got it in control. He's already won. He's conquered everything. And we just need to hold on to him and I, and I think that that his peace does affect our feelings and it does even affect our, our body it affects a lot of things it spills over into every, every area of our life yes you know the, the peace yeah. of god you know peace of god like nothing like, like when, it when, when jesus <laughs> said to the waves he still it affected the physical universe with um the the sea becoming as still as glass you know so if he could do that you know to, to the sea how much more could he do that to you to your nerves or whatever else it is that's keeping you from putting your complete reliance upon God. Amen. Amen, brother. Amen. Hey, we'll see you right, my, um, this one is actually uh, Hebrews um, 12, one through four. Um, and it's just literally those verses. <laughs> awesome. um, and it's called the sin and um, it's deep. I, I mean, I won't go into all of it today. I, I'll post on it eventually, but um, the song is real deep. So, but it's just Hebrews 12, 1 through 4. Oh, uh -huh. 
song you made reference that 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 verse that says you haven't resisted to the point of shedding blood or something like that and yes people say oh you know i've, I've tried god and it didn't work out what <laughs> you tried god what does that mean like a pair of shoes i mean did you really go all in did you really go all in and did you really you know um the, the yeah people, the people that got gone before us, they've been shipwrecked they've been um stoned and they just keep going and they you know and we just have to yeah, and the beauty of it is, you know, the, the sin, um, 
the way I look at it, the way I've studied it is, you know, that's the, the only unpardonable sin. And that's, you know, denying Christ, um, you know, for all your life and not ever accepting him um, because that's what it is. It's, you know, Hebrews and it's talking about our faith and being strong in the faith and people that in chapter 11, they were stoned, they were beaten, they were dragged in and they didn't get the reward here on earth, but that's not what we're promised. We're promised a heavenly reward. And so things can come at us and we can struggle and think that, oh, this is tough. But as long as we don't deny Jesus, you know, that's that's what we hold on to. And that's he's our example. We keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. Well, in America, we have got it pretty, pretty good. You know, yes, we do. <laughs> you know, even though things are not are, are going they're, they're treating churches as if they're museums now and and a thing of the past and you know everything's going into a different direction and what well, we could still redeem that you know with god amen we pray for for god to use us and to, to proclaim his word like we're doing tonight and but just proclaim it one-on-one -on -one with people and just keep the good news going you know and keep going out there and making disciples and, and you know it's, it's what it's all about <laughs> amen brother amen um, this next one is uh, Psalm 51. Um, I did it last time, and it just, I, it's one of the songs I really enjoy. Um, like I mentioned last time, this is when uh, the prophet Nathan came to David and, uh, you know, told him about his sin. And this was what David wrote afterwards. So it's uh, Psalm 51. It's called Make Me Clean. Have mercy on me.
cast me out away from thy presence take not thy holy spirit from me store unto me the joy of your salvation renew a right spirit within Based on um, Psalm the, 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 the aftermath of, of David having been basically rebuked by Nathan after he committed adultery with Bathsheba, he, and, and she sent her husband um, Uriah to be killed intentionally in war, and um, this is pretty bad stuff. And, and yet, ultimately, God calls David a man after his own heart. But why is that? Because there are two kinds of repentance. There's, there's fleshly repentance, which like you're sorry that you got caught. And then there's godly repentance, godly sorrow that leads to true repentance. And I think that's what he did. And he, he did exactly what he's supposed to do. He went to God and says, you know, I've sinned before you. Yeah. You know, created me a clean heart, you know, renew the right spirit within me and all those things. And um, he, yeah. meant, he meant business with God. And God took him back. And I think nobody has gone too far where that God will not take you back if you would simply call out to him and repent. The beauty of that about David being called a man after his own heart is because unlike all the kings after him and everything that went on crazy he never denied god and never worshiped god except our yahweh our god jehovah our god the king of kings the ancient of days the lord of lords david never bowed down to another god and i think that that's again we're all we're all human we all make mistakes but that's the beauty of god when we come to like you said repentance true repentance you know god looks at our, at our hearts a broken spirit contrite heart you know so and so so if you think okay god doesn't want me back i've, I've gone too far i've done one bad thing too many and or did, i've done something extremely bad you know god god has um forgiven people that have done worse things than you <laughs> hey, man. That much, you know? <laughs> and so um can I do one more, or are we all short on time? I think we have time for one more, and then this is uh, this is my favorite, one of my favorite songs that I've written. Um, it's Psalm 100. <laughs> I do this, I think, every time, just because I love I love the psalm. Again, um, this is such a great psalm, and um, you know, we're we're to sing the word of God, right? So that's what the Lord has blessed me to do. So it's uh, called He Is God, but again, this is Psalm 100.
of his pasture and turn his courts with praise. Come into his gates with thanksgiving for the Lord our God is great. As we are the people of his Jesus tonight, brother. And just Praise the Lord. <laughs> claiming that God is good and God is great. God and is any, good. Any, any last thing that you'd like to say to people that are listening tonight that might need some kind of encouragement from the Lord? Just like everything that's sung, I'm sure that everybody else that will sing, just uh, come to Jesus, be blessed. Just put all your cares on him because he does care for you. You know, it's not about winning the lotto or being secure in that aspect, but you again you can get rest for your souls and all who are weary broken come to him for his his uh yoke is uh, easy and just take it upon him you know we need to learn Amen. so the bible's very clear what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul Amen. And what, I mean, bill gates and people out there they, they're very blessed financially but i would rather make sure i'm good with god i thought those bad to be rich but man i'd make sure i'm good with god before i'm rich you know <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Any day of the week. So, well, God bless you, brother. It's always a pleasure to have you on here. Always and a pleasure. Look forward to having you back in the near future, brother. All right. God bless. Thank you. Amen. Amen.